In the midst of Wyoming summers, when my soul itched for adventure and my heart searched for purpose, I would seek serenity in the wilderness. The place of my choosing wandered as lost as my heart did. The steady drift of deep, foaming eddies merging into white caps stayed hidden from those too busy to stop and look, all while generously rewarding those of us willing to find them. The burnt July sun was dipping beneath the Absorcas and spilling its last orange and pink rays onto the South Fork River. But we had planned it that way. Fishing for native trout during the heat of the day was an unrewarding task. Ready? You lose the night fast. Yeah, let me just finish tying on this caddis. Like myself, Charlie had his share of misfortune. His dad died in a forest fire when Charlie was seven, six years old. And I guess our deep-rooted friendship was really a result of kind of a shared anguish. To say the least, the two of us cherished the time that we could spend on the river just to relieve our minds of life's troubles. Our conversations always started with small talk. We just knew each other so well that it just seemed a little awkward to dive into earnest discussion. I spent a snow's finally paying off. Hate to lose the banks, but it's worth it. Yeah, but it gives me a chance to wear my waders. Everybody knows you can't catch fish unless you look like a fisherman. Almost everything I said was said half jokingly, just in an attempt to lighten the mood. Never quite know how to explain it. You could see them standing in the amber current where the white edges of their fins whippled softly in the flow. They smelled of moss in your hand. See, no angler merely watches nature in a passive way. He enters into its very existence. What we found down on that river was a chance to breathe again, a chance for a fresh start. What was big was not the trout, but the chance. What was full was not the creel, but my memory. Maybe it was by coincidence that I read those words, or maybe those words were exactly what I needed to read. That day has come and gone. There never was enough of it. But then again, there never is.